Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today we're going to address a subscriber question. And that question was, can I uh, create grass in Maya and have it react to wind and so forth? The answer is yes, you can. Okay. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can uh, create grass in Maya and I did a tutorial on that topic before uh, where we use the fur option, which is over here. In this case, because we want to animate it, we're going to use something else. We're going to use the Paint Effects tab. Okay, doesn't really matter what drop down menu you got here. We're going to go to our Paint Effects tab, and we're going to go over to this button here, Grass Clump Brush. Okay, we're going to select it. We're going to hold down our left mouse button, and we're just going to drag that out in a row on our grid. Now, if I zoom in closely, right, and we'll just get into that, something like that, okay? And I were to go to my render settings, select Maya software and hit render, you'd get something like that. So as you can see, it's pretty realistic, okay? All right, so what can we do with this grass? First of all, just a reminder on the render settings, if you decide to ment uh, do this in metal ray, what you're gonna get is absolutely nothing it's going to be a black screen. So keep in mind, render this in Maya software. All right. So we've got this. Now, what can we do with this? We're going to go to our grass clump tab here in, uh, in the attribute editor. Okay. And we're going to start off by brush type. Right now it's paint and we're going to leave that as is. Okay. Global scale is pretty important because when you move that slider, you can change the size of that grass very easily. Now keep in mind that one brush stroke like this is one object. So if I do 10 brush strokes, I have to individually change them. In this case, you know, so let's make them a bit bigger. Just do a quick render, see what that looks like. Oh, still got on my mental ray, sorry. Uh, go back to my software, there we go. We're gonna hit render, cool. Okay, so we got that. Now, what else can we do with that? We're gonna go to twist. What can we do with that? Let's say we pull this value. You can see that, you know, your grass is responding to that, right? You can increase the twist rate. So of the individual grass uh, pieces or whatever that's called. Okay. So let's see what else do we got. Uh, we're going to go down here. Okay. Flow speed. Um, let's increase that. We're going to hit play. Let's see if that was the one I was looking for. No, it's not. Sorry. I'm going to go back. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Go back. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No behavior. Interesting. Well, last time around, I was looking for that thing as well. Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? Should be here. Just give me a sec, guys. There we go, guys. Sorry I had to look for that for a sec. Uh, it's under one of the uh, sub-menus, right? And you go down to behavior, right? And then you got turbulence here, okay? Now, we're going to set that on, okay? We're going to go with a, uh, let's go with grass wind, all right? And that will allow you to increase or decrease turbulence, right? You can see that bending, so let's set that to, for example, 0 0.2, okay? And we're gonna increase the turbulence speed to, let's say, 0 0.6. We've got 200 frames. Let's just hit play. And there you go. You've got you know, your uh, grass animated, okay? We're just gonna quickly stop that. Let's increase the turbulence quite a bit. We go back to frame one and let's hit play again. And as you can see, it's starting to react a bit more violent. All right. We're going to stop that again. We're going to go back. Now we've got some uh, bend options here. You, know, you can kind of make it curly, so to speak. You can tweak that any way you want. We're just going to bring that back to pretty much normal grass, if you like. Okay. And there are quite a few things that you can uh, do here to uh, 
you know, you can uh, grow uh, buds, you, uh, you know, you can change the leaves on it. You got flowers, leaves, twigs, and so forth. But, you know, this is more about the, uh, the ability to animate it. So just to recap, um, you're going to go in your paint effects tab. You can select the grass clump, left click, pull that out on your, uh, on your grid. So you got one uh, selectable object, so to speak. Then go to your grass clump tab in your attribute editor. Go down to behavior, right? And in behavior, go to turbulence. And again, you got, you know, the uh, turbulence that you can use to play your animation. Now it's very, very low, so there's not much going on. We're gonna increase that a lot. And as you can see, quite a lot going on, okay? And like I said before, you can change the frequency and so forth. And I encourage you just to play with these settings so you can pretty much real time see what's going on, okay? A lot of things to do here, a lot of things to play with, all right? That's pretty much it for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you've got any questions, let me know and see you guys next time. Bye.